Come on, y'all. <laughs> Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Would you like me to help you, Hannah? Or you got it? Got it. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it. She said, I think I got it. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to share my process of canning apple butter. This is my first time. We just went to the orchard this morning. So I got... Uh, probably 20 or so pounds of apples. They were a variety. So I looked at tons of recipes on Pinterest and a couple of them like label specific ones. Um, and I watched a couple of videos and a couple of them just said a variety of different flavors, tarts, non-tart, baking, not, you know, anything. So we just grabbed tons of them. So I have right here, I have a little over eight pounds of peeled and diced apples. Um, it took a while, <laughs> my hand hurts, but um, you don't have to measure them, but most recipes call for six pounds. I didn't realize I went over that, but I just went over by two pounds. So I just have my largest crock pot right here. It is now eight o'clock at night, so this is supposed to take around 12 hours. Um, so this is what I'm gonna use. I have looked at numerous recipes Everything is different. Everybody does something different. So I'm going to do this for my first one and see how it goes. So I have three cups of brown sugar. Now this is going to go for eight pounds of, or a little over eight pounds of apples. Most recipes are for six. So like for six, it was two. So this is what I'm doing for my eight pounds. Um, allspice, I'm doing one teaspoon. For cinnamon, I'm doing one and a half tablespoon. So one tablespoon and a half of a tablespoon. I'm doing one teaspoon of ground nutmeg and then a couple shakes of salt. The two recipes um, I saw did not have salt like recently and then tons of other ones had salt. You always add salt to like sweet things to kind of help pull all the flavors out. So I'm adding a couple shakes of my salt. And then I have one and a half cups of water. So I'm going to put the apples in and then I'm going to put everything on here and let it go for about an hour or so on high. And then once that is over, once the hour, hour and a half, however long till you go to bed, I guess, you can just come in and cut it down to low. Um, stir it before you go to bed. And then once you get up in the morning, stir it and it should be pretty much ready to go. So I will show you this and then the next part will be us, you know, mushing it up and then jarring it. So I'm gonna cut it up on a high for this morning. We have still a couple hours until we're actually gonna process this in jars. So I'm just gonna leave the top off of it for a little bit to help evaporate. To help evaporate the liquid on top of it. So just let it sit for a couple more hours. All right, so my apple butter's been going for quite a while. I am going to I'm going to try to mash it with like a potato masher. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to blend it in a blender. But 
we're gonna have a lot of people over so I'm not probably gonna be talking for the rest of this video because it's gonna be tons of people and it's gonna be loud so um, depending on how you like your apple butter is how this is next part is gonna turn out so if you like it chunky uh, if this is too chunky for you you can just take like a potato masher and just mash it up you can put it in a food processor a food yeah, mill or a blender so if I can't get it smushed enough with um, the potato masher then I'm going to put it in the blender and then we've got our jars you can freeze it but I have all my lids and some soapy water my jars are in the dishwasher and I bought the jelly jars and I have a couple different sizes that I had on hand but I bought these it's 12 of them they're eight ounce jars and they were less than eight dollars so um, you can pick any size. You can do the really big ones. You can do the smaller ones. But uh, I feel like this would, wouldn't go bad in the refrigerator if they were in the smaller jars. So we have them. You don't have to have a dishwasher. You just need to wash them in hot soapy water. And then I have my lids in here. And then you want to sanitize them. And you can sanitize them by like just putting them in boiling water for like a couple seconds. Um, I have a big pot that I'm just going to put them in and we'll pull them out as we're you know, putting them in there. But you'll see all that as we're doing it. <laughs> I got 11 jars out of it, I believe. I've already given away two jars. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, I hope it come across how easy it is. The apple butter process, you just make it overnight. Um, you don't have to blend it, but I did blend mine. I'm not sure if I showed that. Uh, but I just put mine in the blender for just a couple seconds to make it smooth. Um, if you like it chunkier, you can leave it chunky. Um, my sister did half chunky and half smooth so that she could have both kinds. Um, which is a good idea um, but you know processing it it's very simple you just use either a canner or a big pot of water and you just put them in there um, the times that I saw were 10 to 30 minutes um, and so everybody's was kind of different so I just did 30 minutes to process each one I took them out and all of them sealed so as long as they pop and there is no you know like little bouncing back from the lids then you know they're sealed and they're safe to go. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you give it a try. It is something great to do during the fall. Um, this is something that you can have any time of the year, but it'd be great on fruit or ice cream or oatmeal, toast, biscuits. Um, we had a bunch of biscuits yesterday and we just ate out of the crock pots that was left over and we loved it. So I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.